Waiters. Waitresses. What is the worst first date you've witnessed? Hi reddit guys. Subscribe now. Or I will let the air out of your tires. Couple in their mid 20s comes in. It's obviously a first date. But they seem to really like each other and are getting along well. I wasn't serving them however. I was serving the table next to them. About halfway through their meal I notice them holding hands over the table. Cute. Then. The guy lifts her hand to his lips and kisses the back of it. A bit of an outdated gesture, but still cute I guess. The woman seems slightly confused, but goes along with it. A little while later I see the guy do it again. Okay, dude. Then again. Woman is confused and looks a little uncomfortable. They are no longer holding hands. I go to serve my table and see the dude full on making out with her hand, tongue and all. Woman looks extremely embarrassed and uncomfortable, looking everywhere, but at her date. I go over and casually ask if they need anything, and the dude stops. Woman yanks her hand back. She left pretty soon after. Pretty sure historically you were just supposed to bow your face over her hand. And it became like a Regency novel romance thing for the gentleman to steal a kiss without me ladies chaperone knowing. Source. I like history and books with shirtless men on the front where I can enjoy the story, and not have to think too hard. I once saw the guy try and impress his date by pretending to know about wine. He then proceeded to pronounce every single wrong one. I don't even know how I would phonetically write out his butchering of Chablis and Sauvignon blank. Date looked at him like he'd just taken a shoot on the table. See Chablish. Swore Viagnan. Gherkin. I'll have a glass of the peanut noia silvoyo's plate. Oh man. Thanks for asking this one. I've got a great one. Happened at my former restaurant. Reservation for 6 o'clock. Young guy comes in a few minutes early. Tells me he's kind of nervous. Because it's a first date and he hasn't had many before. Blah blah blah. Kind of sweet really. Anyways. Girl arrives about half an hour late. And proceeds to get very very drunk about midway through the meal she answers her phone takes the call and starts talking about her date in front of her date saying stuff like well he's not usually my type i don't exactly like him but i felt like why not right in front of him young man looks so discouraged walks up to me pays his bill and leaves he's a really nice guy he's come to the place i work at now a few times whoa he is that inexperienced, but still not desperate. Good for him. Seems like the kind of situation where it'd be perfectly reasonable for him to leave her with the tab. I'm not service staff, but I often eat, drink alone and people watch, and first dates are almost always painfully obvious. Worst one I ever saw. Two people who were probably perfect for each other, they were both completely self-absorbed. How completely? They both started stories and kept telling them at the same time. They weren't even listening, just talking at each other. I was enraptured by the sheer insanity of it. I didn't eat for like 45 minutes as they both just yapped away, barely stopping. Hello fellow person who eats alone. This isn't as bad as some of the others, but the guy and girl arrived separately and it seemed like they were meeting for the first time at the restaurant. They sat down then the girl excused herself and went to the bathroom. The guy ordered drinks for them both while she was gone then, after like 30 minutes, ordered two meals. It was so obvious she wasn't coming back, but he kept calling her and eventually just left all the food and drink untouched and paid the bill. I would totally eat both dinners. Or at least take the food home since it's already paid for. This is heartbreaking. Everybody hurts, um. He reached for his water and punched it directly into her lap. During my first date with my now boyfriend, he reached across the table and hit a ceramic mug which flew off the table and shattered onto my unsuspecting toes. I was picking ceramic shards out of my foot for the rest of the day. But ended for a decade. For a while I was at a medium range Italian restaurant. More than once I saw first date go awry, because one of the two drank too much. Most memorable was a woman who started downing rum punches. 
They were at a table so I couldn't see them and I guess the waiter had forgotten his red light. Yellow light training. I don't know if they still do that. After the sixth one I asked if these were all going to the same person and he said yes. I was like, oh shoot. Sure enough, girl ended up puking all over my bathroom and locking herself in. When we got the door open she was passed out and there was puke everywhere including all over her. No cab would touch her so the guy ended up taking her home. He came in a week later and said they were going on another date. I was skeptical. They've been married for about 15 years and are absurdly happy. She avoids rum punches. That's oddly wholesome. Except for all the puke, of course. I work at a pretty high-end steakhouse. I got sat with a table of two and when I greeted them, I assumed they were a couple. It took them quite a while to order their food. I had to go back quite a few times and ask if they were ready. After an hour of them talking, ordering cocktails, and looking at the menu, they finally ordered. The woman ordered a filet mignon and the guy ordered our most expensive steak. Right before their food came out, I saw the guy get up and walk towards the bathroom. My co-workers ran their food to their table and the woman sat there with all the food in front of her. I thought he was coming back soon, but around 20 minutes went by and there was no sign of him. My manager walked over to me and asked me what was up with them. I said the guy was in the bathroom. My manager went and asked her if she wanted us to keep the food under the warmer. She said yes, and the food was under the warmer for maybe an hour while she sat at the table alone. I walked over to her, and asked if everything was alright. She immediately broke down, said it was their first date and that they met on Tinder. Apparently she told him that a steakhouse was a little much for a first date and suggested coffee instead, but he said no. As they were sitting there talking, he looked at his phone and said my daughter has an emergency and he quickly got up and left. She was texting him after and he never replied. This girl bawled to me for 20 minutes, repeatedly saying what's wrong with me, and I had to reassure her he doesn't know what he is missing blah blah. I went over to my manager and asked what we should do about the check. He said he was stuck, because it was a $250 tab and that's too much to just not have her pay. After a few minutes of convincing him, I got him to take everything off the bill. I boxed up all the food, including his steak and sides, brought it over to her and told her to enjoy her night. She stopped crying, thanked me, and left. After writing this I'm now wondering if they swindled me. Well have been a hell of a ploy all for some good meat. Either way, someone's end goal was some good meat. Steak that's been under a heat lamp for an hour isn't gonna be that great though. They'd have enjoyed their evening and food more if they'd stayed to eat and then found a hair in it 3, 4 through the plate. There was this young guy eating dinner with his mom. I noticed they seemed weirdly uncomfortable and distant, but didn't think much of it. Turns out the lady was not his mom. He had met her on a dating site and had been very clearly catfished. The lady was at least a good 20 years older than him. When she left the restaurant he stayed behind and told me about what happened then asked me out. I politely declined, but agreed with him that that was a really weird situation. This actually happened to me. Expected to meet a girl at the restaurant who was around my age at the time. 27. But it was a woman closer to 50. She was my age when I was born. We had nothing in common and pretty sure she was using her daughter's pictures on her profile. You said you were 27. Well I was. Once. I'm a bartender at Popular Burger and Wine Bar. I had an older gentleman, about 60 years old, come in on a Wednesday evening and order a bottle of wine and two glasses as he's waiting for someone to show. This other older woman shows up a short while later and both of them hit it off. They sat themselves right behind my post so basically any time I had to ring something in I had a front row seat to their date. Both of them crush three bottles of wine and sit there for about four hours talking away. Around the fourth hour of them sitting they both started making out randomly and will. Not. Stop. They started sucking faces with an uncomfortable intensity, somewhat terrifying all my bar guests and myself. At one point the older fella leaves for the bathroom and his date proceeds to let me know it's their first time meeting. Not entirely the worst first date for them I suppose, but definitely was for me and the other customers. Damn. 
Am I just a prude or does three bottles between two people sound like sloppy drunk level for most people? I was hanging out at Starbucks and witnessed a horrible date. She was Japanese and he started off by showing her his shirt with sumo wrestlers on it, then would ask questions like, What's your favorite sushi? Do you only speak Japanese? How do you say toilet in Japanese? They have sumo in Japan right? Did you see my shirt? It was so amazingly awkward I bought another cup of coffee to listen to the entire thing. It was so amazingly awkward I bought another cup of coffee. Is that the Starbucks version of getting your popcorn so you can sit back and watch? Couple years ago, I was tending bar at a high-end steak joint. A pretty brunette walked in and sat down at the bar. After fixing her a cocktail, I asked if she'd like to see a dinner menu. She explained that she was waiting for a date. A few moments later, the guy arrived. He was carrying a large bag, which he carefully set down next to him. It was immediately obvious this date was their first. Their conversation was lurching from forced to downright painful when he reached into the bag and pulled out an album containing his Pokemon card collection. He set the book on the bar and thumbed through each page, thoroughly and lovingly describing every card, attempting to educate his date and the ways of Japanese pocket monsters. I'll be fair to the guy, dude was passionate. She feigned an emergency and called her friend to pick her up. He stayed and ate a plain hamburger at the bar. If showing a girl your holographic Sherizard car doesn't get you laid then I don't know what will. I'm not even into Pokemon, but I've seen some of those holographic cards and they are just really awesome little works of art. True, but bringing a collection of anything to her first date is probably a bad idea. I fully agree. I haven't encountered it, thankfully, but I did have a guy spend our whole first date hand rolling cigarettes, smoking them, while telling me about Illuminati, military, pedophile, satanic conspiracy theories. He offered me goulash from a pot in the back of his car. No thanks. I do not want your trunk soup. Okay reddit guys. Subscribe now. Or I will let the air out of your tires.